Brownie, it'll make you fat. Don't tell it too often, Karen. One, two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Now, we do already have an existing recipe video for a brownie. Um, but we did it around the festive period. Uh, so I think we did red currants. Mm. It was beautiful actually, but this, what I'm going to show you now, is just the, the basic brownie recipe. Now listen, Karen, it's not healthy at all. It's full of oil and sugar. But it's a family dinner today. So, and I, you know, we shouldn't always be. Oh, must always avoid oils, must always avoid sugars. You've got to have your treats now and again. And this is something that would impress all your family and friends, honestly. It's a really, really simple recipe. So I've got 250 grams of plain flour. Okay, 250 grams of plain flour. And we're just gonna sieve that because I do like to have my flour sieved. And then you don't get any lumps and bumps and you know, Slumps, slumps, and clumps. There we go. 250 grams of flour. Are you ready for this bit? 350 grams of demerara sugar. Mm. Okay. 350 grams of demerara sugar 70 grams of cocoa powder of a really good this is just Sainsbury's own 100% cocoa powder um, 70 grams of cocoa powder one teaspoon which I didn't get ready first one teaspoon of baking powder One teaspoon of baking powder. About a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to get it right in there. Salt and chocolate. There's something about putting salt in with cakes and brownies that just kind of really brings out that chocolate flavour. Mm. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Again, I'm using Taste the Difference. Sainsbury's Madagascan Vanilla Extract. We had some lovely stuff um, not too long ago which had all bits in it but it was a very expensive bottle and it was only a little bottle so that'll do. And the wet ingredients are 250 millilitres of vegetable oil but what I do is I do a mix of vegetable oil and extra virgin olive oil, always have done. About half and half, so that you've got 250 millilitres of oil and 250 millilitres of water. And them's your wet ingredients. You just pour that in there. Now, what I normally do, because I've got oil in the jug here and the oil is a clinger, I'll use my spatula that I will use to scrape it out of the bowl and put it into the baking tray to scrape the measuring jug. Leave that there. I'm being very kind here and doing the hand method. I've got a mixer right there I could have done it with but not everyone's got a mixer have they? True that. So literally mix this up until you've got a really gorgeous batter and we'll come back and show you that in a sec. Ah. Ah. Now this is my frozen fruit that I use for um, my shakes during the day because I'm still on the slim fast. Uh, but because they're frozen, I'm going to whack them in there. I've done, um, like I said before, I did a red currant one uh, at Christmas. I'm not putting the big, the big fruits in, keeping them for my smoothies. You don't mind. 
Uh, do you think you could spare a few of our breakfast blueberries, Jason? Uh huh. Oh, there's a few there. That'll do. Just some little snippets of fruit. And because we've still got this Easter egg from our Easter egg taste test, um, and it's just sat on top of the cupboard in the front room, I'm just going to break some bits up into it. So it's got some actual chunks of real chocolate Filthy. in there as well. I've done this before. And just make sure they're nice and small. And they shouldn't interfere too much with the baking process because the batter will start baking uh, around them, around the chunks of chocolate, I think before the, um, before it starts to, before it melts and gets into the batter kind of thing. So you'll just end up with little melty bits of chocolate throughout the brownie. Um, on all them bits. There we go. Right, and then I've already got a tray here lined with greaseproof paper. So I'll just give that a mix round. There we go. How's that look to you, our Jace? Looks gorgeous. Oh, there's a fruit trapped in there. A frozen fruit. Get out, thank you. Right, I'll get rid of that. And then it's simply a case of pouring it into your baking utensil. In my case, it's a big tray. This amount fits about this size tray. I don't know what it is in inches. Nor a size queen, Karen. That's a lie. There we go. Get it in there. And then you just kind of push it to the edges. It will swell up a little bit, but really not very much. So this is, you know, your classic brownie uh, size, really. It's quite thin, but you get a big square piece of it. There, you just have a look at that for a sec, Jason. Yeah. Mm. So I've got the oven on 180 and I'm going to cook this for about 20 minutes. We'll come back in 20 minutes and have a look. We'll put a wooden skewer in and see if it's cooked. But you do, because it's a brownie, you do want it a little bit squishy. So 180 in a fan oven, 200 if it's not a fan oven, about 20 minutes. Maybe check it after 15 if you like a really soft, gooey brownie. And uh, we'll show you it when it comes out. Brownie! It'll make you fat. Don't have it too often, Karen. And there you go, there's the brownie out of the oven. I uh, had 20 minutes in there. See how it's not very thick, you know, but it is actually a very, very beautiful, beautiful brownie. So when we're cutting that up later on and serving it with either soya cream or Alpro soya custard, we shall uh, show you it being cut because we're fancy like that mmm brownie so here's the brownie cut up and out of the oven can you see that there's a kind of darker bit in the center mm. and that's the that's the smushy brownie bit but there's a lovely beautiful slice of brownie we're about to have it with alpro custard and what we definitely recommend is that you make your own am i right jensen you're not wrong here So that is, mm -hmm. yes, that's our chocolate brownie recipe video. And if you're watching this as part of the family day meal video, hiya. And if you're not, we hope you really enjoy the brownie recipe video. Thank you so much for watching and please check out the rest of our playlists for loads more great down to earth vegan recipes from us too.
Love you, Mucker. Love you. Yeah. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Be excellent to yourself and more importantly, be excellent to each other. <laughs>